Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the if error function in a very practical example. Okay, so we have numbers here. We have numerators and we have denominators. And then in this last row, we are summing the contents of the column. See, I've purposely thrown a text letter A in there, and you see the sum function is able, is smart enough to, to uh, eliminate any text in the range that it wants to sum. So it just summed these numbers over here, which is 78, and ignored the letter A. Okay? So text function is smart enough. But how about when you want to divide the numerator into the denominator? Let's see what happens. Equals cell B5 divided by cell C5. 5 divided by 1 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 22 divided by 3 is this number. 36 divided by 0 is an error message because you cannot divide a number by 0. It's undefined. And then A divided by 5 is also an error. Okay. Now how about if we want to have the same exact uh, operation going on this divided by this, except we want a function that's more robust that eliminates errors, that doesn't give us this. Because look, big reason is because the sum function cannot add these errors up. Okay? It can eliminate, ignore text, but errors, the sum function will not give us a sum. And really, we don't want to be able, to, we don't want to do these one by one. We want to just we have a large, imagine we have a, a, a column of thousands of numbers and there's all kinds of weirdness in there. There's zeros in the denominator and we don't want to go and find those, fish those out and delete those because if we delete these two the sum function will sum this column. But we don't want to do that manually. Okay? So the way to do that is to use the if error function. Equals if error and then we perform the same operation. This cell B5 divided by cell C5, which is exactly what we did before, except we're doing it inside the if error function. And then we're saying if B5 divided by C5 gives us an error message, which could be anything, the ones we got over here, right, these guys, or other ones that are possible, then just give me a blank cell. So if there is an error when we do B5 divided by C5, don't give me an error message. Just give me a blank cell. And this will help us when we want to sum this column. And as you can see, we get the same answers for the ones we got before, except the last two, instead of getting error messages, even though you could see in the function bar that the formula is there, it's not just a blank cell, cell gives us a blank cell. Okay? Function is there, but the function is returning the blank cell. And so, most importantly, we're able to sum this range of cells and get a value instead of getting an error message, which is important. Okay? So, I hope this video was helpful. I hope the if error function finds use in your work. Uh, Till next time, subscribe to my channel on the top left of this video. And Check out my other Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Stats, Math, and other computer trick tutorial videos. And click on our sponsors' ads. That's what keeps these videos coming to you for free. Till next time, have a great day.